can you give us an update on your squad and specifically on Aaron Ramsey when you, he may return? Uh, well, we had a, <clears throat> of course, after the the, the, the semi final against uh, Celtic, where Aaron had to uh, come off, unfortunately, with a, with a hamstring problem. Uh, we have assessed him uh, this week, and uh, hopefully, we will have him back around the Leipzig home game. Uh, we had also had a, a problem with Kamar Roof after the game, so the next day he felt the. Uh, uh, he felt uh, his knee and uh, for him it's the same, he will be out for some weeks and hopefully also back uh, for, uh, for me to pick uh, around the Leipzig home game. Right, so that limits your striking option somewhat then, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh, of course with um, uh, Morales already out now, Kamar out for for a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, we have less uh, options up front. But uh, as always, we just uh, have to uh, go on and uh, make sure uh, we uh, we embrace the challenge. But uh, I think the uh, the atmosphere in the group is uh, is good. And uh, we just have to, uh, you know, make sure we, we pick the best uh, team uh, for every game. But um, yeah, we are very positive, although we have, again, some injuries uh, added to the list. I think all the players who are available are, uh, are capable and, and uh, know the task which is uh, ahead of us. Thank you for me. Is this, is this going to be a big opportunity then for Fashion Sakala? And are you confident that he can take on that responsibility with each other main strikers out well yeah of course it's not as uh, I think he played well in that position the last couple of games um, you know we have limited options up front but uh, you know eventually uh, you know other players have to stand up and uh, are giving uh, uh, more time to play and uh, yeah but that's that's why you have a big squad for moments like this when uh, players are not available. Uh, other players have to step up and uh, and show their quality as well. Of course, you've been a, a big champion of VAR. It's been introduced. Well, it's going to be introduced uh, after the World Cup in December in Scottish football. Do you think this is a, a big positive for for the game in Scotland? Well, I think yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of VAR because I think it will. Uh, help the referees in their decisions and uh, you know I'm really happy that it's coming uh, to the league uh, after the World Cup so uh, I think after that you know it's uh, it's much easier for uh, referees to to take the right decisions in difficult moments so uh, yes I'm very positive uh, with VAR coming. And there's been some talk this week about uh, Alex Lowry and his future uh, apparent interest from, from down south. Can you give us an update on, on, on his uh, contract situation at all? And uh, we'd like to see a bit, uh, we're likely to see uh, more of him uh, going forward until the end of the season. Uh, well, Alex is, um, you know, one of the, the big talents we have coming through from the academy. And, uh, you know, we are uh, in talks, uh, <clears throat> you know, for him to, uh, to sign a new contract because I, I think he will be uh, uh, an important player uh, for the future of this club. So, uh, you know, talks are still, uh, uh, um, you know, in, in, in process. So hopefully we will have positive news uh, in the coming weeks. Hi, Gio. Um, after that result at the weekend, how much added confidence has that given to the players, given the, the title running and also the Europa League games coming up? Well, of course, it was a huge uh, boost for us. You know, very positive to uh, to win uh, the semi final and to be in the uh, in the final of the cup this year. So that will be our last game of the season, <clears throat> which we can uh, where we can um, you know win win a trophy. So that's um, that you know for us that's uh, that's very good. Of course, you know uh, a win is always positive for for the morale and uh, uh, so. Yeah, it was a good good week for us. So we uh, were able to uh, to rest this week, and uh, you know to uh, be playing almost twice a week for for the the whole season. You know, it's very demanding for uh, for all of us. But uh, we're looking uh, we're looking forward to uh, to the last weeks of the season with so many important games.
And of course, the Motherwell game had to be moved forward until tomorrow after you mentioned it last weekend. How happy are you with the fact that everyone did agree to this happening? Well, I'm very happy about it. Of course, everyone uh, you know involved in in, in uh, getting the game uh, uh, you know pushed uh, pushed forward to tomorrow. You know, uh, of course, Motherwell, the SFA, everyone, the police as well. I think it's it's good for for all of us. So I'm happy that we can play tomorrow and gives us more time to prepare for for the Leipzig game on on Thursday. So. Uh, Yes, as I said, very, uh, very grateful of uh, you know all the decisions uh, which are made. But I think it's, um, I think it's for every club uh, the same. You know, if if, if any club in, in Scotland will be involved uh, in Europe, uh, uh, I think we all have to do the same and make sure that uh, you know all the teams get the best preparation for for big games in Europe. You said you only really had half a session with the players ahead of the. Um, semi-final, yet the players executed the, the game plan really well. So does that show you that the coaching and the ethos is really well instilled in the team? Yeah, well, of course, it's a half a session on the pitch, but, you know, of course, there are more uh, um, uh, more ways to prepare a team, also with video. So, you know, it's a short period, but, um, you know, I think we uh, we prepared the, the, the play as well. They... Uh, you know, they, they prepared themselves uh, really, really good as well. Also mentally, because I think, you know, mentally is uh, is a big factor in, in such a big games in, in short periods. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the, the preparation we had last week. And, uh, you know, and we just have to keep going and, and do the same for all the games uh, who are coming. Great. And um, fitness in the squad seems exemplary. Um, towards the end of the game on Sunday, there were key players who just uh, did not look as tired as they perhaps should have. So how much has that been a focus for you and your coaching team to, to really hone those, um, those fitness levels? Well, it's always, it's always important. You have to um, you know, assess the players uh, almost every day, how they feel. Uh, because you know when you pick your team, you know there are many factors you uh, you weigh in in your in your squad in your your team selection. It can be you know games ahead. It can be their fitness. You know it can be their the uh, the mental state. So for us, it's uh, very important to uh, to keep the players fresh and to keep them uh, as optimal in uh, in for for the games which they play. So. I think that's not only for this week, it's for the whole season. So we did the same this week and, you know, we're going to pick the, the best team for, for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it seems after every big Rangers result, there's, a, there's an undermining of the referees and the linesmen. Do you think that's kind of reached a pitch where it's actually starting to have a negative effect on the game in Scotland? Well, I mean, it's it's um, you know a big game. You know, there there are many big decisions to be made in the game. You know, and that's uh, will always be uh, you know a talking uh, talking point, and not only here, but I think you can see it everywhere, in, in also in the big leagues. But uh, I think that's why VAR is uh, you know is important because it, it it takes away some of the decisions uh, who are made to help the referees, but. Uh, I think it shows also, um, um, you know, the, the the how important the game is, especially when you play in Europe or, or you know big games against Celtic in the league or, or in the cup competitions. But um, you know, I think they always have to be respect for 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 everyone involved in the game. You know, the players, the the referees. So uh, I think it's. Uh, it's also football. Football is emotions. People like to talk about the game, but I think to have respect for one another, for the decisions who are made, I think that's the that's mo the, the most important thing when you when you talk about it in in papers or in pubs or, or, or whatever. But uh, it's something. It's also a part of football. You know, talking about it because you know it's it's good because everyone can be a manager, everyone can be a referee, and talking about situations and and squad selections and. You know, different uh, talking points of game. That's also, I think, the beauty of football. We don't have to take that away because it's a part, but uh, we have to respect uh, uh, when we talk about those issues.